awesome. Yeah, somebody call wow. Scotty McCreary. I've got a duet for him. Quick. Right there. Very oh, That's yeah. good. Quick. They'd be great together, wouldn't they? I right. know. I diverge on a tangent, as I always do. But let's get back to the focus here. Look who showed up. Hi. Merry Christmas, Paul. everyone. The a lot of good man. flicks out there, right? Yeah, exactly. For the holidays. And Paul Hall, the Common Guy Film Review, is here to tell us which movies we should dash out to see after the uh, Christmas supper. You know, Christmas is one of the biggest days in Hollywood. People go out to movies after they finish their Christmas festivities. You'll talk to any theater manager around here, they'll say they're just going to get packed from about, you know, 2 o'clock on through the rest of the night. Right. Because a lot of folks will eat their Christmas dinner early. We do. We eat yeah. it earlier than usual. Right. And then you're kind of like, right. now what? And so you've got a variety to pick from. We're going to start with one that maybe necessarily, it's one of the better ones out there, but maybe necessarily you don't want to go on Christmas Day too. Why? Okay. It's called The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Oh, this yeah. is one that... Um, <laughs> Not really festive. Okay. I saw a couple weeks ago and I really couldn't tell you about before, but now right. I can. Oh, right, right. You weren't talking so much then. Yeah, it's a, it's a very popular book series. Here, uh, Rooney Mara plays Lizbeth. Now, she's had a rough life. She's had a lot of things go wrong until Daniel Craig comes along and says, come help me find a missing girl. Yeah. And it's the whole story of that journey to find that missing girl. Rooney's just fabulous. She sells this role. Whoa. It is very graphic. It is not something I would recommend you go see on Christmas or take the family to by any means. However, one of the best movies of the year. If you okay. liked the Silence of the Lambs a couple years ago, uh, more than a couple now, but yeah. if you like that type of thing, this is the type of movie for you, and I can say it's probably going to end up on my top ten, maybe even in my top two okay. or three of the year. Two quick okay. questions. Is this one in English? Yes, this you is in English. There was it. the Swedish version a right. couple years ago okay. that's uh, also very good. But, and uh, if you haven't seen any other of the girl tech two dragon movies, Will you get this? Yes, one? you will. This is this is the first of a of a trilogy. So okay. there's there's more to come Perfect. down the road, but you will totally understand this. Great. Highly recommend it. Don't take anyone outside that that even gets a little squeamish to it though, because there are some really rough sequences okay. in this movie. It's kind of dark, not yeah. exactly Christmassy. Yeah. Uh, a lot of folks will probably go to this. I never got Tintin as a kid. I still don't get it. <laughs> Many folks are on my side, especially with this type of animation here. Whoa. But this is going to be a big film. Adventures of Tintin. Steven Spielberg brings it to the screen in motion capture animation. It's gorgeous. It's 3D. It's something that I compared a lot to Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay. It's via an animated film. It's got great sequences in it. It's got great voices from people like Jamie Bell and Daniel Craig, who we mentioned in Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. He's in this one as oh. well. <laughs> Talk about two different things. Right. I, actually right. did a, I actually did a video review. It's up at CommonGuy.com with my daughter if you want to see what she thought of it. Um, oh, she cute. liked it a whole lot. I think she gave it an A++. There you guys Ooh. are right there. I didn't give it quite an A+. But yeah, there I they are. That means, yeah. Yeah. She's a generous reviewer. <laughs> She's a generous reviewer. She loved it. It's, it's a lot of fun. I think the kids will love it. I think especially young boys are going to be that real target market because that adventure, sure. Raiders of the Lost Ark kind of thing. Check it out. Uh, also, Steven Spielberg has War Horse opening on Christmas Day. So that's two from St Spielberg. You, you could go have a Spielberg movie marathon. Great. Now, what about Mission Impossible? Mission Impossible. This is one that didn't do a huge business last week because it was only in IMAX, but now it's out everywhere. You can go see it everywhere. But I would say, and you know as a fact from listening to me for the last year or so, I don't tell you to go spend extra money if you don't have to. Okay. This one, spend the extra money, go to the IMAX, go to the ultra screen, get the big oh. sound, big picture. This is an action blockbuster, a summer blockbuster at Christmas time. You will love this film if you like action So this films. story is not getting old, huh? You know, I thought part three and part two were both a little, hmm. Been there, done that. But yeah. this one blew me away. I had a wonderful time with yeah. Mission Impossible. The trailer looked really good. Cause I, I kind of soured on Tom Cruise about a decade ago. Yeah. But I have to admit, I watched the trailer for this, yeah. the extended one online, and yeah. I was like, I might go see that. He looks kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, he works in this one. It, it's fast-paced. You will enjoy it. You will see the sequences in the trailer are not old by the time you get to the movie. Okay. Which is something that's really hard to do because yeah. trailers sometimes give away way too much. True. But uh, yeah, I would do. say, you know, if you're looking for that big blockbuster, that's your that's your pick. Okay. As always, thanks for steering us right. All right. Thanks. Thank you very much. We'll see you at the movies. Maybe Tony coming up talking with uh, just a few of the thousands of service members that.